right, we've made it out here to the range. We've waded our way through. And Jeff is gonna take the first shots with the Franklin Armory BFS-3 in the SBR. All right. We're gonna charge it up here and see what it'll do. All right, semi-auto first, just to kind of see, you know, right here, you know, just to kind of see how it's gonna function. Okay, now binary. And pretty much just to kind of check the function different ways of pulling the trigger, uh, no stoppage, it's empty, locked back on the last round. Uh, so from here, it's just rock and roll. <laughs> We've changed out the buffer spring, had a couple of stoppages, and we'll give it a shot here now and see how she does. The magazine is empty, it seemed to work a lot better that time. Yeah, that was fast. Let's give it a shot with another mag. I'm going to say that's probably another light primer strike. We've had three of those so far. But that's also using steel cased ammo, which could be part of that. Yeah, light primer strike. Probably another one. We may have to switch out that hammer spring. Yeah, it has the others that came with it, so... Uh... You know, those, it may, may have to do that. And another one. I think before we burn through too much more ammo, we should take a look at doing that. Same thing again. Yeah, you know, this is the same issue that I had in this rifle with the uh, three and a half pound JP precision springs. Now nah, it's empty. So we'll get that hammer spring switched out. We'll take another look at it. And I'm betting that it's probably going to function 100% at that Jeff point. Jeff has switched out the hammer spring to the mill spec spring. And tell us what it did with the trigger. How does that feel now? Well, I mean, there's a definite, uh, well, we're going to check uh, clear here real quick. Uh, there's a definite difference in that hammer strike. You can hear that it's a more definite, a heavier hammer strike. Uh, when they supplied that, uh, what well, the kit is put together with that lighter spring on the hammer. Uh, so we put it in with that on there and then experience light hammer strikes. Uh, now, this is this is actually something common with a lot of uh, steel case Russian ammo because yeah, it has a harder yeah. primer. And so I put a mil spec uh, uh, hammer spring back on there that came with the kit, and you could tell a big, big difference as far as the hammer strike. But the trigger pull now really, it, it's got, uh, it's so gritty, it isn't funny. I mean, it, it's got a that like, you can watch my finger right there, there's a step. So it's going to have to have a, a little bit of wear in on it. Yeah, you can tell. So we'll take it back down there and run a few more mags through it and uh, see if we experience any more of those light uh, primer strikes. And it just might work just fine. We'll find out. Now it's time to test fire uh, this SBR with the mil spec hammer spring. Mil spec hammer spring in the... 
uh, increased strength buffer spring. Yeah. Semi. And. And we have a malfunction. Oh, we're out. Okay. I guess didn't have that many in that one. Here's a full mag. See if you can dump it. Yeah, we're rocking and rolling now. Son, that had more pews than a church. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. When you bear down on it and you just start going to town, it's just a very light trigger, uh, you know, as far as uh, movement. And uh, as you can see, it, it'll empty one faster. You can say boo. So, uh, yeah, that, that was fun. I think it works. <laughs> like I said, son, America. Love it. Yeah, this thing is awesome, man. This could burn through a bunch of money really quick for me. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I could keep from doing that. <laughs> no. I mean, hey, it's it's legal. Uh, there's nothing anybody can say about it. It's uh, it, truthfully, it's what we should have all along. Absolutely. You know, we shouldn't have to worry about all this other crap. There, Man, that heats up quick. Oh yeah. I mean, uh, just in between us going up there and changing out those springs, uh, just touching the end of that, even after that, it was still warm. Yeah, so that's the Franklin Armory Binary Firing System 3rd Generation. Uh, you know, if you're going to shoot cheap ammo like I shoot a lot of, definitely go with the mil-spec hammer spring and uh, put the uh, put the extra power buffer spring in there if it's needed. And this thing rock and rolls like a champ. Love it. Takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you do, you're you're good. You're good as gold. Yeah, you need a. <laughs> I need to go get some more ammo. Yeah. Or there's another upper that we have. Hey, there you go. Yeah. We'll start taking another caliber. Heck Let's see yeah. what it does. Let's see what happens. Okay, Terry, what do we got? Well, 762 by 39, 10 and a half inch upper using regular steel case Russian ammunition. We'll see how it functions on semi automatic. Oh, the sights flipped up. Well, semi auto functions fine. Let's go to binary. That is awesome. Man, yeah. this thing has a concussive blast that just hits you right in the face. <laughs> uh, well, standing over here, it actually almost blew my daggone hearing protection out. <laughs> And I'm sitting here closing my eyes because brass, <coughs> well, steel casings are hitting my hand and coming over the camera and everything else. So, oh yeah, Terry, I hope you had a freaking blast. Oh, I did. I loved it. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, your turn. Yeah. Now it's my turn to hopefully shower Terry with every daggone piece of brass out of this gun. My <laughs> God, you don't want to be close to this thing. I'm telling you, the blast off of this muzzle device is freaking nuts that's the griffin taper mount flash comp yeah Woo. and the thing is you know this is hearing safe with a suppressor yeah not now <laughs> i'm just gonna start out with binary screw it <laughs> that, wow but he got a little bit of a malfunction it's the magazine it's not the gun so right, and these them. are the 30 round ASC magazines. Yeah. I have had some issues with yeah. these, and the That's... 20 rounders function just fine. That went nose down. I already had one round flop out, so I'm going to uh, try attempt to. Uh... Nope. I guess grab the other one over there, and we'll see if we can make it work. Well, it was going real good until then. Did you bite any of those, Terry? <laughs> I 
I would hope you did. All right, let's go back to binary. Not deepen myself. <laughs> Got another malfunction. Another malfunction. I will chalk that up to mag. Let's make her safe. You know, the thing is, the 20 round magazines from ASC. No, I'm sorry. These are not ASC magazines. These are C Products Defense magazines. Uh, did it bind up again? Yes, it did. Nose down. Man. So, uh,. You know, I it was all cool up to that point. No, I did not load that in backwards. It flipped around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> but that can actually be fired again. It's usually, if something like that happens, but it just put a little scratch on it there. But the gun's been made safe. Uh, followers stuck down in the gun. I mean, you know, I think I might take these apart yeah. and see if I can sand on the followers a little bit to smooth them up, maybe. Or uh, see if maybe there's a, another follower out there on the market for them. And if nothing else, I'll just uh, buy nothing but the 20-rounders from C hey, Products Defense. Question. Do you think that Aero Precision will warranty the coating on that shell deflector? <laughs> that just shows that it's used, man. <laughs> and I think it's putting quite a few rounds through that. <laughs> it's beauty mark. Wow. <laughs> Gee whiz. But uh, other than this, you know, that's not what we came out here to test was this. It was the trigger. And the trigger works just and, fine. Yeah. And it was putting rounds down range. I mean, uh, I can't complain. I mean, a lot of fun. If you can't uh, smile when you're pulling the trigger on that thing, there's something wrong with you. I mean, that's a lot of, a lot of fun. Now that we finished up with the Franklin Armory BFS-3, uh, man, you know, that, that thing is a, a whole lot of fun, but I don't really see a whole lot of practical application for that other than a, yeah. a range toy. Oh, yeah, and, well, and it's fine for that. And, and you know what? You can control your, your rounds with that because, I mean, if you just pull the trigger back, and you're still on target, and you release, you're still going to hit. Yeah, and you. Don't, I mean, it's a it's you, you a whole lot better than like a, a bump fire stop. Yeah, or something yeah, like oh that. yeah, and, and you don't have to fire. You know, right. after you release, you don't have to fire again. Yeah, that's your choice. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what this is for. But you know, at the same time, you know, it's legal, rapid fire. Right. You right. Know, it's not full auto. It's not you know whatever, but. You can't really necessarily not call that select fire because it's got a select door, but right. but it's ATF legal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I just wish that they would lift the Hughes Amendment and allow the manufacturer of new full auto machine guns so that we could buy those. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I think that a machine gun would look great in my trust. Yeah. Yeah. So. I agree. I totally agree. So, you know, hey, we had fun. At least we got to get out of the range and uh, wade through mud. And yeah, now we've got rain coming again. Yeah. So we got to beat it, get the hell out of here, and, uh, We'll see you again. See you guys on the range soon.